In this video, we will have a closer look on how to do markings of cable trays. Let's go to mark element elevation in drawing. We click our cable tray. Now we get a dialog where we can do our settings. We can drag and drop and move the information. Let's start to do our own format for this. Now we can add information like length. If we drag and drop it, you can see that it moves in the preview. We can also edit our separator. Let's do another one. So now let's select the elements that we want to mark. And as you can see now we get the information of the cable tray. If we have two overlapping we can select either one of them or in this case both. Let's do it once more and only select one. And here we can show how to select the vertical cable tray. And then of course we get that information in our drawing. If we want to cha make changes to our marking, we can use the grip points to stretch it or move it. The data in the markings are connected to the product, so if we change the height information, for example, then it will change also in the markings. If we change the type of the cable tray, this will also change, as you can see in this example. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.